科技临界点，向世界介绍中国科技。Hi, I'm Lisa, and this is Threshold in China. Today, we are going to share some exciting tech innovations and announcement that happened in China last week. Nicotine, an addictive chemical found in tobacco plants, can cause serious health problems, like we all know. But a group of scientists from the Chinese Academy of Science has discovered that nicotine can have a positive impact on aging in mice. The scientists split 48 healthy young mice into two groups: the experimental group and the control group. Every day, the experimental group drank water infused with a dose of two milligram of nicotine per milliliter, while the control group did not. Over a year, the control group of mice, equivalent to a 50-year-old human, exhibit signs of aging, such as having white fur, slow motions, and poor response time. In contrast, the mice from the experimental group remained in a state of middle age and more energetic. Scientists found that the telomeres in the experimental group's muscle and heart tissue were significantly longer than those in the control group. Telomeres are protective caps at the end of chromosomes that shortens as we age. The longer the telomeres, the younger the physiological age. The scientists also observed that the survival rate of the experimental group of mice in their later years was as high as 91%. While the controlled group only had a 54%, this implies that taking nicotine reduced the death rates of mice by nearly 40%. To investigate further, the scientists found that the low dose of nicotine enhanced the activity of a special enzyme, NAMPT, which leads to an increase of NAD+, a molecule that helps cells regenerate energy and repair DNA damage. The scientists examined the brain, heart, liver, muscle, and kidney of the mice when they are two, six, and twelve months of age. What they discovered was a gradual decrease in NAMPT activity as the mice grew older. But after administering nicotine through drinking water when they are six to twelve months old, the researchers found that nicotine was able to restore NAMPT activity in all tissues. While the findings are extraordinary, it is important to stress that the research was conducted on mice. The same cannot be said for other animals until further research. And the nicotine the mice were getting per dose was five to ten times lower than the nicotine intake from regular smoking. Researchers have warned against the use of nicotine as means of anti-aging because smoking kills, and nicotine addiction can lead to a range of serious health problems. China has begun drilling its second 10,000-meter-deep mega well in the hopes of tapping into a vast natural gas reserve. The new well, called Shendi Chuanke One, is located in Sichuan Province, southwest of China. The target depth is 10,520 meters, probably the most difficult drilling project in the world. The complex underground condition and the intricate geological structure add to the challenge. At depths exceeding 10,000 meters, the temperature can soar to 224 degrees Celsius, making metal drilling tools as limp as cooked pasta. And the ultra-high pressure, as the chief engineer Yang Yu said, was akin to diving into the deep sea of 13,800 meters, far exceeding the seawater pressure of the Mariana Trench, which is the deepest ocean in the world. But why is China investing so much on ultra deep well drilling? Unlike the Middle Eastern countries where oil could be easily extracted from the surface, China's most concentrated oil and gas resources are buried at the average depth of over 6,000 meters. Therefore, ultra deep exploration and drilling have become a formidable challenge that must be overcome. Ultra deep is a term reserved for wells that extend beyond 9,000 meters. They are widely regarded as some of the most technically challenging projects in the oil and gas engineering industries. And it's China's second go at ultra deep drilling, following its first attempt in Tarmin Basin, a petroleum-rich region in Xinjiang Province, and holds the title of Asia's deepest well. Against the backdrop of geopolitical conflicts, power shortage, and global price fluctuations, energy security has shot up to the top of China's priority list. 
In response, the country has been putting in enormous efforts to increase domestic energy output by 2025 as a part of its current five-year plan, while also pursuing clean energy collaboration with other nations. China's natural gas production has been on an upward trend since 2021, and it's the world's fourth largest producer. Moreover, its natural gas supply has now surpassed that of oil. The Shindi Chuanke One well is therefore a vital part of China's energy strategy. If this project succeeds, a new ultra deep natural gas storage area is expected to be on Earth. Beyond this practical objective, the team also has a more academic goal to collect geological data from these extreme depths to explore the evolution of the Earth the origin of life and climate change. The project's deputy manager, Ding Wei, linked this ambitious 10,000 meter exploration to a major natural project on par with lunar exploration. Recently, videos showing drones extinguishing fires in mid-air went viral on Chinese social media. A rocket streaked across the sky and slammed into the fire building. Those rockets were launched by drones, which were equipped with powder extinguishing agents that could smother fires and prevent them from spreading. These fire drones were made by various Chinese manufacturers, including the well-known DJI and Guofei Aviation. They also have powder sprayers and thermal cameras installed. Drones like these have come with unique advantages. First, the conventional way to put out a fire on a high-rise building would require a fleet of fire trucks with powerful water cannons. But these trucks aren't cheap. According to Firefighter Insider, a basic fire truck or engine with no equipment on it can cost from 250,000 to 6 million US dollars, depending on the type of vehicle. Then there's the equipment too that can cost more than the truck itself. Meanwhile, a typical fire drone costs around $7,000. Of course, a rescue mission would normally require several of these drones, but the price gap is significant. Also, the fire scene is often highly variable and complex. Some might be a high-rise building where fire departments have difficulties in reaching. Drones, on the other hand, are not limited by terrain and light. They have a high mobility and their visible light camera and the thermal imaging camera can penetrate smoke and some building obstructions, obtaining temperature distribution and achieve precise firefighting. Of course, drones are not going to replace fire trucks entirely, but they may play a more important role in the future. Drones are being rapidly adopted in diverse use, from disaster response to entertaining to hazardous infrastructure inspection. China is the global leader in drone technology, and experts forecast massive growth for the Chinese drone industry in the coming years. From 2017 to 2024, the project compound annual growth rate for the industry is over 40%. For most of us, a lack of sleep can have an effect on our emotional stability. We tend to be more grumpy when sleep deprived. But for those who are battling depression, a lack of sleep might temporarily lift their spirits. Professor Rao Heng Yi and his team studied the effect of total sleep deprivation on emotional state and function connectivity networks. The study involves 38 healthy individuals, 30 severely depressed patients, and the controlled group were 16 individuals who were allowed to sleep undisturbed. As expected, most patients' mood worsened after a sleepless night. However, 33% of the depressed patients experienced improved emotions. The researchers used a technique called RSFMRI to map brain activity while the individuals were at rest. By observing the conversations between different regions of the brain, the researchers found that staying awake all night enhanced the connectivity between the two brain regions, the amygdala and the anterior cingulate cortex ACC, which is often linked to better emotional state in some healthy and depressed individuals. The amygdala is like the alarm system of our body. It processes threats or fear that send signals to other parts of the brain, promoting them to respond accordingly. Like when you are walking alone in a dark street and hearing footsteps behind you. That feeling of fear is processed by your amygdala. And the ACC plays an important role in controlling and managing emotional state or affecting regulation. 
An explanation offered by the researchers for these individual differences is the duration of rapid eye movement sleep. Sleep isn't a uniform state but occurs in cycles, one of which is REM sleep, where most of our dreaming happens. Researchers have previously shown that severe depression is linked to abnormal REM sleep. However, when it comes to total deprivation, the lack of REM sleep might offer some participants a much-needed break, allowing them to regain control over the amygdala from the bottom top. The surprising interplay between sleep deprivation and emotion regulation could provide a new direction for depression treatment, turning the nightmare of sleeplessness into a potential lifeboat. And that is all for today's Threshold. As always, please let us know if you like this new section on science and technology in China, and we will do more in the future.